Oogenesis, that is the production of eggs or also called oocytes. They're actually not ovum or eggs until they are fully mature, ovum. So in the last video, I told you there are about 200 to 500 million sperm per ejaculate. That's insane. So sperm are produced all the time from stem cells, spermatogonia, and produced all throughout life um, in the male. Females, oogenesis, the timing of it is very different. So um, by birth, there are one to two million oocytes. They are secondary oocytes is the stage they're in at that point. And until, up until like puberty, about only 25% of those remain. So there's about 300,000 from puberty when they start being released and maturing and on. And then not all of them, most of them don't um, ever become ovum, mature ovum. It's actually not until it's fertilized that it completes the developmental process of becoming a egg. So the quantity and timing is very different. Fewer eggs are produced um, and it's a limited supply. I mean, it's plenty, right? Like who wants to have 300,000 kids? Um, I hope no one. I think two is enough. Sometimes it seems like more than enough. Okay, so oogenesis, um, we are going to, the other big thing is that oogenesis is complicated by follicular development. An ovum is literally just, we're gonna just start with this now. It's gonna start with 2N, what's that? That's a diploid organism, right? These are going to be the stem cells that are called, I hope I spell this right, oogonia. One is oogonium. These are like spermatogonia, but this is a female cell. Um, and they're stem cells, just like spermatogonia are. These are gonna be embedded in a follicle and the follicle is gonna have its own developmental cycle. And that's what you think of when you think of, well, the ovarian cycle, um, it's mostly the follicle that is changing and that's that follicle stimulating hormone is gonna do that. So how I wanna do this is I'm gonna teach you about oogenesis first, then follicular genesis, the de development of the follicle. When I teach you the follicular development, I'm gonna tie back into this. Um, this is gonna be a lot like spermatogenesis, but then itself, but then there's gonna be some differences. And then pulling that in with the follicle development is going to be the harder part. So that's gonna be the next video is where we'll put those together. So in this video, just wanna do oogenesis, no follicles in the picture. I mean, they really are in reality, but we're not gonna look at them yet. We're just looking at the egg itself. So in utero, these stem cells divide. And I just told you that by birth, there's already like, they're done dividing. So this is all gonna happen in utero, right? In a, in a developing fetus. Just like with the spermatogonia, we're gonna have cell division, mitosis. This is what stem cells do to reproduce. There's gonna be one going this way and one is going to go back um, and, and stay a ogonium. So this one is the one that's gonna carry on. And that's just like spermatogenesis, where we had that stem cell population um, maintaining itself and, and reproducing. This, however, is going to stop at birth. So we've got um, birth, that's, that process is stopping. We then have development, though, into um, a, oh, I'm sorry. So this, this one is going to, when it divides like that, just like the, I think I messed this up with the spermatogenesis as well. Um, the one that's going to go on is going to become the, and I'm just going to put it like on, this is the same one, it's going to come become the primary oocyte. So oogonia develop, they're going to divide, or, and they're going to develop into primary oocytes when they divide. 
this is actually then going to carry on until puberty. At puberty, all of your eggs, they're actually oocytes, we call them eggs, are primary oocytes. So everything just hangs out. Some of them actually um, degrade at that time. At puberty, that's when these are going to go through meiosis one. And I'm going to do actually different colors for my for these, but I'm going to keep it consistent. So I'm just going to circle them. Circle my meiosis one. What does that mean? That means the cell is going to divide and become haploid. This is the same thing that happened with the sperm. The difference is um, that this cell division is a little bit different and it's gonna make one that's smaller, like physically smaller, and one that's physically bigger. This thing here is going to degrade and um, be recycled. This is our polar body, our first polar body. It's a cell, but it's like not equivalent. It's not the primary one. Um, only one is going to carry on, unlike the sperm, where they both eventually were going to become sperms, sperm, sperm. In this case, this one is the one we're following. This one is the one that's going to become an egg. This is our secondary oocyte. So the secondary oocyte is haploid. Um, and it is the stage at which your eggs are like just in general, <laughs> like until they get fertilized. So um, in, from puberty until, until on. It's actually not until fertilization that this next division is going to happen. So I may add a different color here. Let's do a big, big old orange for fertilization. That means that the sperm has entered the egg and combined DNA, and that's going to allow the cell to complete meiosis II, and thereby form an ovum which then immediately gets fertilized, right? It, it is fertilized, I know it's kind of weird. This is our second polar body. So of all of this process, only one ovum develops, unlike four sperm, right? Um, I'm gonna circle my meiosis too. So this process the complete ovum does not occur until fertilization and then immediately it becomes diploid again because um, the two cells are combining. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so we're gonna leave it at that. That's the production of the egg. The next video, we're gonna look at the follicular development.